हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द पार्ट टू ऑफ द ह्यूमन डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम एम सी क्यूज दैट इज नॉन इज द मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन नाउ द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हियर दैट इन द स्टमक गैस्ट्रिक एसिड इज सिक्रेटेड बाय नाउ वी नो वेरी वेल दैट इन स्टमक इन स्टमक वॉट इज द गैस्ट्रिक एसिड वी ऑल नो दैट द गैस्ट्रिक एसिड विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द स्टमक इज एच सी एल एंड ड्यू टू विच the ph of the stomach is acidic and it is 1.5 to 2 okay this is the ph right this is the ph of stomach why the ph of the stomach is highly acidic because of the presence of a gastric acid and that gastric acid is called as hcl now you must know that hcl is secreted by auxentic cells very important many times the question is asked that who secretes the hcl in the case of the uh, in the stomach so we will say auxentic cell and these auxentic cells are also named as parietal cells so you can call it as auxentic cells as parietal cells also so the cells which secrete the gastric acid known as the hcl in the stomach are the auxentic cells or the parietal cells so the question was that in the stomach gastric acid that is hcl is secreted by so you have to opt it the parietal cells okay parietal cells also called as auxentic cells release hcl so the option number 1 is correct option number a is correct okay and peptic cells are the chief cells okay they release the pro enzymes known as the pepsinogen and the proreins okay and these acidic cells or the gastrin secreting cells are not present okay so the hcl is secreted by the parietal cells so the answer is a known as the parietal cells now coming to the question number 2 now what does the question number 2 says absorption of glycerol and fatty acids occurs by now you must know that glycerol glycerol plus fatty acids okay these glycerols and fatty acids are what they are fats and they are insoluble they are insoluble and hence not absorbed by the blood they are insoluble and not absorbed by blood okay now the question arises then how they are absorbed so you must know that this fats fatty acids and the glycerols are first incorporated they are first incorporated into small droplets called micelles right they are first incorporated into small droplets which are called as what micelles and these micelles move into what intestinal they move into what intestinal mucosa right again i am saying glycerol and fatty acids are insoluble so they are not absorbed by the blood so they are first incorporated into or changed into small droplets called as micelles and micelles move to intestinal mucosa micelles move to intestinal mucosa and in intestinal mucosa these micelles are reformed they are reformed and are converted into chylomicrons they are reformed into chylomicrons now what are chylomicrons so they are protein coated they are protein coated fat globules they are protein coated flat that is known as fat globules again i am saying micelles move in intestinal mucosa and in intestinal mucosa they are reformed into chylomicrons now what are chylomicrons chylomicrons are protein coated fat globules and these chylomicrons these chylomicrons are basically absorbed by the lacteals right these chylomicrons are absorbed by the lacteals now what are lacteals so lacteals are lymph vessels which are present in villi 
lacteals are lymph vessels present in present in villi right so they will absorb these fat globules right so the glycols and the fatty acids are insoluble and that's why they are not absorbed by the blood so first of all they are incorporated into smaller droplets called as micelles micelles move into intestinal mucosa in intestinal mucosa they are reformed right and they are reformed into chylomicrons chylomicrons are protein coated fat globules and these chylomicrons are later on absorbed by the lacteals now what are lacteals lacteals are the lymph vessels present in villi lacteals are lymph vessels present in villi say for that this is the villi these are the finger like projections known as the villi so in these villi certain certain lymph vessels are present like this type certain lymph vessels are present like this type of the lymph vessels are present and these lymph vessels these lymph vessels are called as what these lymph vessels these lymph vessels are called as lacteals now the question is absorption of the glycerol and the fatty acids occur by so it's clear that lymph vessel within the villi present in small intestine lymph vessel within the villi the lymph vessel present within the villi right in the small intestine right is actually responsible for the absorption of glycerol and fatty acids and these lymph vessels which are present in the villi are called as what lacteals it is clearly indicated here by the discussion that the lymph vessel which is present within the villi is called as lacteals which are present in the small intestine so the answer is c okay now the third question now the third question is also somewhat similar to the second question only the way of asking is little bit different and it is very important it is asked in neat exams and it is also based on ncert which form of fat is absorbed into the intestinal cell the point to be noted here is that the point to be noted here is that that which form of the fat is absorbed into the intestinal cells as you know very well that intestinal mucosa just now you have studied that intestinal mucosa absorbs what small droplets of the fats and that small droplets of the fats are called as what micelles so which form of the fat is absorbed in the intestinal cell so you have to opt it for the micelles okay so micelles is the correct answer because the intestinal cells are actually absorbing the form of the fat called as what the micelles because here i have said that micelles move into the intestinal mucosa so intestinal mucosa is absorbing what micelles form of the fat so answer a is correct now the fourth question is also based on second and third question a large lymph vessel which is present in the villi now see here that i have made these structures known as villi now these are finger like projections these are finger like projections which are present in our small intestine and these finger like projections are called as what villi and in these villi in these villi certain lymph vessels are present and these lymph vessels are called as lacteals and they are absorbing the fats so a large lymph vessel present in the villi of the small intestine a large lymph vessel a large lymph vessel present in the villi of the small intestine is called as so it's very much clear that they are called as what lacteals so the the answer b known as the lacteal is correct for the question number 4 okay now the last question is that brunner's gland are found in now it's also important for the neat purpose many times this question is asked that brunner's glands are found in so it must be very much clear that brunner's glands are actually found in the small intestine brunner's glands are found in the small intestine and the role of the brunner's gland the role of the brunner's gland is to secrete mucus the role of the brunner's gland the role of the brunner's gland role of the brunner's gland is to secrete what an alkaline mucus so the question is that brunner's glands are found in submucosa of stomach no brunner's glands are found in intestine they are not found in the stomach so wall of rectum now rectum is the part of large intestine rectum is the part of large intestine but just now i have said that brunner's glands are found in the small intestine especially the duodenum part now the submucosa of 
duodenum submucosa of the duodenum and the mucosa of the ileum so it must be clear that brunner's gland which are secreting the alkaline mucus are actually associated with what the submucosa submucosa of duodenum so the correct answer is submucosa of duodenum so dear student these questions were based on the digestive system this was the part 2 of the human digestive system we will be coming with few more videos we will be coming with theoretical videos based on this topic and few more mcqs on this topic keep watching thanks